Hi, I'm Seamless, and here today is the third part in the Modern Music Business series where we talk about how you can sell music from yourself to the world without ever touching a label and still make money. So even without <clears throat> the sort of new Internet of Things way of approaching stuff where you just got to add revenue your way to the future, uh, you can still make a decent living selling music to a fan base that you build yourself uh, if you had just put in the time. It is not a matter of if, it is in fact a matter of when. If you just keep doing it, you will eventually find enough people that are into what you're doing specifically, even if you do not care at all for what the mainstream stuff is doing. If you just do your thing, be really good at it, be the best at the thing that is that you can do, there will be enough of a following that you can survive yourself on it. it. might take 10 years, but it will happen. There's stuff you can do to speed the way along the process. Getting on a label is one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, damn. But, uh, you know, all the kind of word of mouth and doing shows and all the, the basic stuff that you already know how to do, that you already have been doing, is how you do it. You just keep doing it. It's what I did. That's how things happened. And I, I, you get helping hands from larger entities. Like I had got help from image line. I got help from uh, brands that want to show stuff off that I do. And like, that's <clears throat> a big part of what the next part about this is going to be, which is how to like, basically what, what business on the internet is and where the value lives. Um, but the same question still exists here. In this case, the idea is that you want to get rid of the middleman. You think to yourself that you want to have essentially control over your own stuff that you're selling it directly to your viewers. So in this case, you are the one creating the value and, the va and then there's the customers for your value. And so far as the market for music literally directly detracts, that is a tall order pretty much no matter what. And if you focus only on that, you're going to have a bad time. The recommendation has always been that the two diversify in terms of how this stuff works. And for, for music, there's a lot of ways you can do that. <clears throat> um, mostly it involves integrating and collaborating with as much as p other people as you can in terms of like not just getting their own viewer base, but like sort of crossing over yours into there, but also uh, ex opening up uh, new doorways and connections into like things like licensing deals, uh, getting uh, getting music in, in like video game or something or a television uh, trailer or movie, whatever, any of that stuff. Like it is a lot lower level than you think it is because there's lots of sort of automatic processes for getting these, like aggregates where you like you upload a track for a portal and people might get it and you get like a cut for what it's used in a thing. And that's used at the, at the highest levels of stuff. It's really kind of a depressing industry, but you can sort of get in there if you just do that kind of thing. Um, but much like doing the regular way of things on a label, all of this is about making a name for yourself. And you just, you have to do that by gaining attention. And then it comes back to the question, like, you know, would you do, would you watch, would you buy, would you, would you consume the thing that you're doing if you were looking at doing it? And I really feel like that's the best approach anyone can have about what they're doing. You obviously should ask questions about what your viewer base wants when you're doing what you think you can do. But if your goal is to sort of like be the artist, let's not be holding to market forces and that kind of thing, then your own, like, you just have to not, you just have to put it out of mind. You just got to do what it is that you are, you are. And just believe that it'll come up eventually. And it will. And you might have to subsist on, like, you know, side job or something. Because who knows? Maybe you're doing, like, Electra Shoegaze. And that's this got, like, four people listening to it. But, you know, you top the charts. <laughs> um, my plan, like, for my channel, my YouTube channel, was a bit of a consideration about this particular process. Like if I could not play the game, if I didn't actually perceive to have any value for myself but beyond the creation of my music, which I don't see to have a value comparison to what existed in the market at the time, then I could create my, I could create an installed viewer base by doing tutorials and then say, okay, cool. But by the way, I also do music if you like that at all. And then I also am able to position myself not to have to care about the market forces of the music because I also sell sort of beyond the music. I do the projects, the presets and samples and tutorials and that kind of thing. And that's what enables me to do the music I want to do without really having to care about actually having to do it. That's an incredibly wonderful position to be in. And I am super grateful for all of you guys for making this possible, by the way. But that's not entirely possible for everyone to just go ahead and do that. Not to mention it took me years to do this, to grow and accumulate enough that it could actually be sustainable. That <clears throat> is a pretty big part of the question and there's no real answer about like is it a year is it two years that's gonna work out you have to like um the plan is hard to parse but um it is possible to do by yourself it is just a slow going thing it's a thing where you have to like be ground roots you have to work within your uh immediate cohort of other artists that are around you and bring everyone else around you up because that's the only way that you can support like uh getting out of what is a very saturated location if you think but that is pretty much that uh the next video is going to be about the big old internet of talking about how all that's supposed to go together with advertising mostly. Everything's about advertising now, and boy oh boy, you're going to love how this works.
I think personally anyway.